Hi everyone. So today we're going to be talking about writing fractions as decimal numbers. So we're going to start off by getting our whole. So here we have our whole here. So we've got one whole. As we discussed before, a decimal number is a number that is less than one and greater than zero. So we have one here, and the next one we have our tenths. To get our tenths, we're going to take our whole, and we are going to divide our whole into ten equal parts. So you can see it's been done already. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got my whole set into ten equal parts. There we have one tenth. So to write it as a fraction, we know that our denominator is going to be 10 because our whole has been split into 10 equal parts. I have one of those parts here. I'm going to have 1 tenth. To write that as a decimal number, I'm going to use my knowledge of place value. So I can see that I have no ones. I need to add my decimal point in so I know that I'm no longer dealing with whole numbers and that I'm dealing with decimal numbers or a fraction. So I can see that I've got in my tenths column, I have one tenth. So I'm going to write that like that. So one tenth is equivalent to, is equal to 0 0.1. How about then if I have two tenths? So if I have two tenths. So to write that as a decimal number, I still have no holes, no whole numbers. Adding my decimal point to show that I'm now dealing with part of a whole. And looking at my tenths column, and I have two tenths. So here I can see that two tenths is equivalent to 0 0.2. How about then, if you wanted to look at hundreds? So to get hundreds, we are going to take our whole, so our one whole here, and we are going to split that down into a hundred different parts. So we can see here that we've got our tenth on top, and each tenth is made out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here I have ten tenths, each worth ten hundredths. I'm going to take my one hundredth here. So to write that as a fraction, I know my denominator is going to be 100. So I have taken my whole and split it into 100 equal parts. Here I have 100. To write that as a decimal number, again, using my knowledge of place value. So I have no whole numbers. Decimal points show that we're not working in whole numbers anymore. We are working in fractions or decimals. I have no tenths here. But I do have 100. So here I can see that one hundredth is equivalent to 0 0.01. How about then if I had two hundredths? So writing that as a fraction, my denominator is going to be 100 because my whole is split into 100 equal parts. And I have two of those parts. To write it as a decimal, looking at place value again, I have no whole numbers. Decimal points show that I'm dealing with decimal numbers. I have no tenths, but I do have two hundredths. So two hundredths is equivalent, is equal to 0 0.02. Hope that helps, Delta Activity guys. Any problems, give me an email. Bye.